Yorkshire's David Allen. It's been a real grueling one for the Commonwealth crowd. Uh, I'm David Allen and um, a lot of people will know me as the Joker, uh, the Clown, chubby, slow, not very good, getting beat quite a lot. We've got the new me now, slim, fit, and we'll see what I'm about. I struggled years ago, I was a, I was a bad gambler. And at one point, it nearly killed me, you know, because I got myself in a hole. I didn't box for 15 months, I had 15 months with no routine, no nothing. I didn't leave the house for six weeks on one occasion. I've been up all hours of the night talking to random strangers on the internet about whatever problems they may have. I've been there, you know, and I speak to a lot of people about these things. And their routine is key, being busy is key, and that's why boxing is my life. That's the imposing figure of Lewis Ortiz. After the Dylan White fight, I gambled with the whole purse away in a week. The financial situation I was in, then I had to fight, so I boxed Lewis Ortiz on three weeks' notice. The one thing you hear about Dave Allen is how tough he is. That well and oh, great left up, good there from Ortiz. He moved an uppercut, and I genuinely thought I was out. Just a few seconds left, though, in round seven, and he's been caught again there, Allen, blood coming from the mouth. And then the referee jumps in right at the end of the round. Fighting out of Connorsboro, Yorkshire, David Allen! I always give time to others, and I think that's why I'm popular now, because I am the average 25-year-old man in Britain. I lost Leonard Thomas. My dad spoke to me. His words to me were, people are saying that you're no good, they're laughing at you. That didn't go down well, you know? I need to show people what I can do. And people say to me now, it's great what you're doing, you inspire me, like... Ten messages a week, I've started boxing, I'm doing this now, I'm doing this. And if I can become the Commonwealth champion, there'll be more than ten, there'll be hundreds. For me, it's about spreading the message. You've got to be, be happy, be nice. That's the key. And that's why boxing is my life, you know. Boxing keeps me sound. I don't know what it sounds, but it's true. You know, boxing keeps me living.